Tonight on the University Report, we'll talk about free flu shots being offered on campus, as well as a new testing center in Carmen Library. Good evening and welcome to the University Report. I'm Peter Grisset. And I'm Molly Christensen. Here are tonight's top stories. In 1936, mining students placed rocks in a pattern on the southwest slope of a mound outside of Platteville. We now know this as the world's largest M. The M measures 214 by 241 feet and consists of 400 tons of wet washed stone. Known as one of Platteville's most recognizable sites, the M is now reopened after the damaged tower was removed due to the tornado devastation several months ago. Are you interested in developing your communication and leadership skills? The Toastmasters meeting is here for you. Toastmasters International is a worldwide organization with a club starting here on campus as well. Open to students and staff, meetings are every Thursday from noon to one. The City of Platteville annual fall cleanup will be held on Monday, October 7, 2014, with pickup the same day as your normal collection. Items must be placed at the curb by 7 a.m. on the day of pickup. Electronics and other specific items will not be picked up. If you need to dispose of an electronic item, contact Faraday Recycling at 608-348-9586. If you have questions concerning the cleanup, call the Department of Public Works at 608-348-9741. The UW Platteville College of Liberal Arts and Education will host its first faculty forum of the fall semester on Thursday, October 2nd from 5 to 6.30 p.m. The forum is titled Foreshadowing 1914 pre-war images of Germany, France, Great Britain, and the United States. The event is free and open to the public and will take place in 136 Doudna Hall. Flu season is upon us, and that is why UW Platteville will be offering free flu shots for its students. Student Health Services started offering free flu shots Monday, September 22nd, and the free flu shots will run every Monday for, through Thursday. They will be available upstairs in Royce Hall in the Student Health Center. The shots will be given between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. and 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. No appointments are necessary, and to find out more, visit uwplatt.edu backslash health services. Freshman students are invited to stop by the Platteville East Room in the, Mar in the Marquee Pioneer T Student Center on October 1st from 10.30 to 11.30 a.m. to find out their scores on the Pioneer Success Survey that was completed during the new student registration. RSVP is required to attend the event. You can find a link on Platteville's university website. UW Platteville Geography Assistant Professor Lynette Dornack created an interactive map showing the before and after looks from the areas impacted from the EF2 tornado on June 16th. Anyone who is interested can access the map along with other information online. This map allows viewers to see aerial imagery of the tornado's path on the ground photos of the damage, posted areas, damaged but open areas, and areas of restricted access. A slider bar can be used to see the before and after looks. This map is a reminder to all of the area the damage that the tornado caused, but also the incredible amount of support the university has received for rebuilding and moving on. The tornado updates, videos, pictures, and media links are located at www.uwplat.edu backslash UIC backslash tornado. When we come back, we'll talk about the Culver's Custard Homecoming Challenge. <laughs> 